In this video, I want to show you a couple of ways to use Microsoft's web browser control. Now, the web browser control is an ActiveX control that allows you to look at web pages through your access interface. You can find the web browser control here under more controls in your toolbox, and that means that it's an ActiveX control. So you basically scroll down to this list of ActiveX controls to find the web browser control. And it is right here. Now, click on the web browser control, and you click on your form, and there it is. Now, there's a couple of things you're going to want to do with this before you start uh, coding around it. First, you're going to want to resize it, and you'll resize it based on uh, your needs. And then you want to click, right-click on it, basically, and then go to Properties, and All tab, and then there's a name. The name property of this control can be anything. Web Browser 4 is fine. But I usually try to name my controls some name that I know I'll remember. So uh, Q Browser is fine for me. Okay, and that's it. So once you've got your control named and you've got your control resized, it's time to make it do something. Well, basically with the web browser control, the, the, the thing that you want to do with this is basically point it to the page you want. Now there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, you can actually point it to the page you want it to go to through a form open event or some other event. Uh, usually it's a form open event or a command button. So I'm going to go ahead and add a command button here just so we can test this stuff out. And let's go ahead and put some code behind this command button to make this form uh, or this web control do something. And so all we have to do here is type in me, Q browser, navigate, and then in quotes, navigate to the HTML page or whatever page uh, you want it to go to. So in my case, I'm going to navigate to the data page website. Okay, so again, me, Q browser, navigate, and then the website that you want it to go to. So let's go ahead and test this out. Hit go, and there you go. Here's the website. Now, this is live. This is basically on the internet right now. Now, does the page you go to have to be on the internet? Well, the answer is no. It can be any kind of page. It can be on a, uh, a, uh, on a server, a network server, or it can be on your local hard drive. To demonstrate how you would do that, Let's go ahead and change this code here to me, Q browser, navigate, C documents, my settings, my control panel, blah, 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 blah. This is basically a file on my uh, local drive. It's an HTML file. So what if I test this? It reads exactly like you would see it when if you opened up the HTML file, except now you're seeing it through an access interface. Now this is perfect for uh, creating your own custom help system. Uh, I've actually got a video that you can view on the website that tells you how to use this particular concept or put this particular method in creating your own custom help system. And if you really want to get fancy, you can actually use functionality that's on a net through your Access application. For example, I've got this little application that I built called Google Eye. And this is basically a, a, an application where you can use Google's functionality in your Access application, making it feed through a uh, Microsoft web browser control. So for example, search weather. If I search weather here and I type in Tucson and I hit search now, Google pops up because I'm telling the web browser control to navigate to Google and I'm, I'm passing Google this particular criteria, weather Tucson. And now I've got the weather for Tucson. Definition. If I type in Babar, I'm passing to Google define Babar. And now I've got this. It's a fun control to play with, and even more than that, it's functional. And I would actually recommend that you go to the website and look at the video on how to create a custom help system using the web browser control.